this video is going to be very useful. Actually, this is something I have been telling since the starting four or five years ago, five, six years ago now. Still, I'm going to put it very clearly. It will not only be useful for you students, but it will also be useful for my fellow astrologers, astrologer friends on YouTube. Because they are also very unaware about this topic, ignorant and showing their ignorance also. Not only this, this will also be useful for those astrology institutions who are teaching astrology since many years now. But their students call me up and they say, sir, I have spent this many years learning there, there, there. But still I cannot predict. Can you please teach me? And then I have to teach them the real astrology. In this same line, many a times I have to answer regarding divisional charts. And the wrong information, misconception, wrong notion is so strongly put in the minds of people that it is very difficult to accept what I am telling. Though what I am telling is the word of the sages, but still it is difficult to accept. So let's see what I am trying to say. I am using the most popular book of astrology, BPHS, also known as Breath Parashar Hora Shastra. This was unavailable in between, but came into light somewhere around first 20-30 years of 18th century. And after that, it have became the gospel book of astrology. And this edition is written by R. Santanam. Some people also call him R. Santaram, but he was from South India. Santaram is rather a North Indian name, so it's the wrong pronunciation. I sometimes get very uh, depressed about if people cannot take the name of the Rishi and the author properly, how they read Sanskrit shlokas properly? God's, God knows. I don't know the answer. I am not a Tattvagyani for that matter. This shloka is from BPHS. Okay. We will see what the Rishi have clearly written. This shloka is same as it is in all the versions of BPHS and same as it is in all other texts of astrology also. But the problem is, though the shloka is very, very clearly written, but still there is confusion. And there is confusion not there from today. There is confusion since starting since last 200, 300 years. People have claimed that we have worked on classics, we have worked on divisional charts, we have worked on this, we have worked on that. Tall claims, no result. You just look at the shloka and you will know the reality of what they have worked. You will know the reality. So specifically, when we talk of divisional charts, there are different concepts. Sometimes six divisional charts are taken, known as Shadvarga, sometimes seven, Saptavarga, sometimes ten, Dashvarga, and sometimes sixteen, Shodashvarga. So maximum sixteen divisional charts can be there. Though nowadays with unauthenticated principles, unauthenticated shlokas, and in the name of research, the number of divisional charts is ever increasing. But that is okay. Doing research, making new divisional charts is very fine. Traditionally, in astrology, these 16 divisional charts are used only in traditional astrology. Other than traditional astrology, in some other forms of astrology, some other divisional charts are also there, but that is not our topic for today. In these 16 divisional charts, I will start with the first one, Hora, also known as D2 chart. D2 chart or V2 chart, whatever, right? Second Varga or second harmonic. D2 means second division. D2, division number two. It is also known as H2 harmonic two or V2 Varga two. The simple name is Hora, right? The division of it. I will be explaining my complete matter with this singular thing, D2, okay? Now, what is D2? One Rashi is to be divided into two parts. How to calculate this D2 chart? How to calculate this Hora chart? Parashar himself have told. And here is the particular shloka. Now, there is one thing many people ask me to give shlokas. See, if you know Sanskrit, if you can read Sanskrit, if you can translate Sanskrit, why you are asking me? 
all the books of astrology are equally very important. Purchase all of them, read all of them. People generally ask me for recommendations of book. It is like asking what I like to eat. What will you do by knowing what I like to eat? I cannot say this book is non-important. This book is more important. I don't do partiality in knowledge. All the sages have done great work. If you wanted to know shloka, if you want to know chapter, I have a simple answer. All books are very important. Purchase all of them. Read all of them. And if you have a very good intellect that you are supposedly having because you are asking for a book, then after reading one book, you will know what to read next and what not. Right? Okay. So I am putting shloka for you, for you to understand yourself. And keeping in mind, keeping this particular point that you don't know Sanskrit, I am translating it also. This is word by word verbatim translation. And with this translation, you will understand where the problem is. If you don't, I will tell. See the shloka. Parashar is what Parashar is writing. Tata Chetram. Chetra means Rashi. Chetra means Rashi. There. means a planet. Rasheryu. Rasheryu means Rashi. Chetra can mean house also. Yes. There. Nayaka Lord. Tash. Tat Chetram. Tasya Khetasya. Rashis are of planets. Rasiryo Yasse Nayakaha and these planets are the lord of the Rashis. Right? Rashi is of planets and these planets are the lord of the Rashis also. Why it is to be repeated? See for Nakshatras, Ashwini is lorded by Ashwini Kumar. Right? So Ashwini is of Ashwini Kumar. But is Ashwini lorded by Ashwini Kumar? No. Ashwini is represented by Ashwini Kumar. Ashwini is lauded by none. Some people take that Ashwini is lauded by Ketu. There is no shloka as such. In one of the previous video, I have, you know, gone at full lengths to destroy why Ashwini is not lauded by Ketu. If you want to increase your knowledge, watch the video. Right? But here it is told that Ashwini Kumar is lauded by Ashwini. Sorry, Ashwini Nakshatra is lauded by Ashwini Kumar. Right? It is not represented by Ashwini Kumar. The nature of Ashwini Kumar and Ashwini Nakshatra is the same. Whereas in the matter of Rashi, it is different. Planets lord the Rashi and planets are the owner of Rashi both. Right? The owner of Bharani is Yama. Right? But Yama you cannot see in horoscope because Yama is a Diti. Hence the dual terminology is not used there. Come back to the shloka again. You see how in one single shloka of six words, in that two words are almost useless. These two words, thus a yes is almost useless. In these four words itself, Parashar have given you such a great secret. You should have an eye for the secret. Next. Suryendo. Surya, sun. Here, you say ye. Then this ref is there. This ref should be taken as a. Then the next line is duo. So Surya Indo. Indo means moon. Sun moon. Vishama. Vishama means odd. Odd is what, what Visham Rashi. Odd Rashi. Surya Indo. Sun and moon. Vishama Rasha. Lord the odd Rashi. Sun and moon. Lord the Odd Rashi. Odd Rashi is Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius and Aquarius. Same. In the sum sign, in the even sign. Even sign is what? Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces. In the sum Rashi, Tad Vipritakam is opposite. Vipritakam means opposite or reverse. What is opposite or reverse? It is told before. Sun moon is opposite or reverse. That means it is moon sun.
in odd sign suryan do vishamaya rasho in odd sign it is sun and moon and in some rashi in even sign it is opposite moon and sun tells the second shloka pitras chandra hore sham deva suryas kirtita the hora of moon is lauded by pitrus pitrus ancestors four fathers okay pitrasch chandra hore sham the hora of moon is lauded by pitru deva suryas kirtita and the hora of sun is lauded by deva deva means god god deity now you once again come to the first line tat chetram tas khetasya rashi belong to planets rashiyo yas nayaka and the ruler of the rashi is planet itself here in the third line itself it is opposite the first hora in odd sign ruler is sun right it represent gods second part of the hora in odd sign ruler is moon represented by pitrus in even sign first part of hora is lauded by moon represented by pitrus second part of hora is lauded by sun representative of devas so here the lord and representative is different when it comes to hora lord and representative is different whereas for the case of rashi lord and representative are the same planets so you can say only in the matter of rashi rulership over rashi what you call d1 chart planets are taken as grah devatas planetary gods in other divisional charts planets are taken as entities only so two thing is there lord representative right representative i am taking tat chetram tas chetasya representative na rashi yas nayak nayak means lord king father whatever you can take and nayak means actually nayak means ruler right basically ruler right so hora is lord by sun represented by gods another hora is lord by lorded by moon represented by pitrus right at other places other divisions can still be lorded by moon or sun but can be represented by others also in the divisional chart in the panathon of divisional chart what happens the ruler remain the same nine planets or seven planets rahu ketu rule no rashi the ru planetary ruler remain the seven planets sun moon mars mercury jupiter venus saturn only the representative keep on changing in d2 chart there are two representative pitrus and devas four fathers and gods in other divisional charts other representatives are there generally in divisional charts the representatives don't change the representative are fixed for a particular division whereas the whereas the planets the seven planets keep on repeating in all the 16 divisional charts right so lord and representatives will repeat next what the rishi is saying rashi ardham this is taken rashi one line ardham this ref is taken as a rashi ardham rashi ardham means half of rashi bhave dora happens to be hora bhave happens the hora happens to be hora tas chaturvinshati that is 24 chaturvinshati means 24 chatur means four vimshati 20 in how it is written shat trimshat shat means six trimshat means six after trimshat means 30 so six after 30 so shat trimshat means 36 in the same way chatur vimshati chatur means four vimshati means 24 plus 20 chatur vimshati 24 horas are there smrita remember it so rashi rar bhaved hora half of rashi is hora and there are 24 such hora why there are 24 such hora because there are 12 rashi and one rashi is having two hora so 12 multiplied by 2 there is a total of 24 hora is what is being told mesaadi tamsam hora nam pravrtir dvayam bhavet now this particular last line is a topic for a long debate in this long debate people have reached at very very wrong conclusions 
and he have reached to such a wrong conclusions that you know you cannot debate it further right this is in hindi called purvagraha grasit mind or mind already prejudiced by something mind already prejudiced by trying to prove someone wrong so i will leave the last line for some other time right once again come to the same shloka that i am discussing you may know from the general knowledge what is your general knowledge about divisional charge if you know there is general knowledge that hora or d2 is a divisional chart is a divisional chart chart where does the word chart comes from you should remember you should understand something if i use the word chart it means it is being told to chart cast make draw a divisional chart draw a diagram it is varga this is varga right i don't know if this is there in shloka so business chandra des rase arth bhaved hora you see if you read this line rashi ardh bhaved hora half of the rashi is hora he does not write rashi ardh bhaved hora kundali he have not written hora kundali so the word chart is useless what is divisional chart there is no divisional chart there is only divisional divisional bhi nahi division there is only division there is nothing known as division chart because the word division is not used you read astrology navamsh is written navamsh kundali navamsh varg is not written navamsh varg may be written varg means division varg does not mean kundali navamsh kundali is never written navamsh varg is written varg means division only not kundali varg kundali is rather a hindi word varg kundali is rather a misnomer rather a wrong word introduced by people who do not know astrology right it is not used by sages at all be very careful so you may know that d2 is a hora is a divisional chart where all the planets traditional definition where all the planets are put into two rashis leo and cancer this we probably know hora is a divisional chart where all the planets are either situated in cancer or situated in leo this is told by parasha now you tell me in this complete five shlokas that i have interpreted including the sixth shloka where is leo or cancer written leo will be called singh right cancer will be called kark jitum kulir multiple names for rashis are there kark karkatak kulir will be written for leo singh kulir panchama rasha will be written so multiple synonyms can be used but you tell me in this complete set of five or six shlokas where is leo or cancer written my friend nowhere sage have written hora is ruled by moon and sun and moon is not synonymous with cancer sun is not synonymous with leo this problem is greatly happening many people call themselves to be practitioner of bhrigu astrology and they are like if the planet is in 8th house or if the planet is in 8th rashi it gives the same result what a useless thing by 8th house is 8th house it have different signification 8th rashi is vrashchik it is ruled by mangal it have different signification how it is common how is it one and the same thing i broke your hand and i broke your finger is it the same thing hand or finger is the same thing someone have a problem in heart someone have a problem in chest is it the same thing no you should understand it where your intelligence have gone have you lost your intelligence have you gone berserk what have happened so sun and moon are not synonymous with leo cancer this is the problem you have to make a divisional chart by the name of hora rishi is never saying it rishi is saying there is a division by the name of hora division and divisional chart my friend are two different things ram and ram prasad are two different people ram is great god ram ram prasad is ram prasad was a bengali poet whom ram krishna used to adore a lot but that was not ram right 
So Varga and Varga Kundali are two different things. Rishi have never told you to make a divisional chart. He have only told you to calculate a division. That division will be loaded by sun or moon, not by Leo or Cancer. Got my point? Now, in the same manner, in all the 16 divisions, the divisions will belong to different lots. See, different representative and different lots. Lord will be planet only. Representative will be separate. For example, first Drekana is ruled by same Rashi, ruled by Narada or Durvasa or any sage. Second Drekana is ruled by fifth Rashi, represented by a sage. Third Drekana is lauded by ninth Rashi, represented by a sage. In the same manner, in all the divisions, it is represented by a sage, it is represented by a god, it is represented by an entity which is not repeated. Okay. Whereas it is lauded by planet, these planets are the same seven planets from Sun to Saturn which keep on repeating in every divisional chart. Right. The method of predicting through divisional chart is knowing about these representatives and lots and predicting results accordingly. For example, I will tell you the uses of Hura. Now coming to Hura, you may also have heard a shloka from Parashar. Hora yam sampada adikam. From Hora si sampada. Sampada means wealth. In the same BPHS, Parashar have talked about a lot of wealth combinations. Right? While dealing with this wealth combinations, more than 15, 16 shlokas are there. He have never mentioned Hora or D2. While dealing with Hora or D2, he have never mentioned about D2 divisional chart. Parashar himself, whenever he talked about wealth, he never talked about D2. Whenever he talked about D2, he never talked about wealth. In his book of 100 chapters, having more than 3,000 3, 3, shlokas. Having more than 300 shlokas, at least. I have not counted how many shlokas are there, though, but it is more than 100 chapters. He have not talked about it. So it is very clear because see, BPHS was written, it was lost in between. It was refound by someone around 18th century only. Right? It was found by someone around 18th century only and I highly suspect that this BPHS is written by Parashar, but some slokas are put by someone. Some slokas in between are put by someone. For example, this particular six set of slokas are highly dependent. I am using it to explain a concept to you. But this particular shloka of Horayam Sampadadikam is put by someone else, should be taken with a pinch of salt. According to me, should be kept out of BPHS. So Horayam Sampadadikam is not the point. Hora indicates wealth is not the point, right? This is wrong. Why it is wrong? Maybe in some other video I will try to say it, not a topic for today. So what is the real purpose of Hora? To know the real purpose of Hora, let's come back to our original point. Hora is lauded by gods, Sun Hora, and ancestors, Moon Hora. In an odd sign, in the sign of Aries, in the sign of uh, Gemini, in the sign of Leo, in the sign of Libra, in the sign of Sagittarius, in the sign of Aquarius. First half, 0 to 15 degree is ruled by Sun. 15 to 30 degree, second half is ruled by Moon. In even sign, that is Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Pisces. First part, 0 to 15, is ruled by Moon. And second part, 15 to 30, is ruled by Sun. Okay. What is ruled by Moon is ruled by Ancestors also. Let me write it by A. And what is ruled by sun is also ruled by God. So let me write G. 
that basically means if a planet is at 14 degree in aquarius it is going into sun hora if the planet is at 16 degree in aquarius it is going into moon hora now basic point is very simple this can be very clearly understood any result whether good or bad how do you decide the result you will decide the result based on the rashi chart only okay be very clear about it. rashi chart only for example seventh lord is situated in 11th house that indicates from marriage or after marriage or with the help of life partner, you will earn money. Now, how this earn money will come? If the seventh Lord is going into part of sun that is represented by God, after marriage or with the help of life partner, you are earning money. This result is given by God. That basically means in past life, you have done good karmas. Because of that good karmas, you are getting this result getting a wife which is helping you in earning money or anything as such. This is happening because of good karma of the previous life represented by gods. And because of this particular reason, there is no problem as such. If you remain faithful to gods, if you keep on worshipping gods, this result will sustain. If you become anti-god, anti if you don't follow your religion, the result can perish also. Clearly told when the result will sustain, when the result will perish. Using this guidance, you can make your life better. Remember, the prime purpose of astrology is to guide people to make their life better. Like in medicine, you learn about disease to make the person disease free. In astrology, you learn a fortune to make the person fortunate. How to sustain the good result, how to eradicate the bad result is the major purpose. Other than that, there is no purpose. First think what is the purpose of astrology. On the other hand, if the seventh lord situated in 11th house goes to the division of moon, there it will be ruled by ancestors. It means because your ancestors, see, you are born in a rich family. So you will get married to a lady from a rich family. And because she is coming from a rich family, she will have lots of wealth and assets that you can also use. So wife is coming because from with lots of assets. But why you are able to marry such a lady? Because you yourself are born into rich family. You are born into rich family. The riches in family that you are having a rich family that is because of ancestors. So because of the work of ancestors, if your father have done some remedy for the well-being of family, and as a result of that remedy, you are getting a good wife. You are getting a wife with the help of whom you are able to earn money or using her assets, you are able to sustain yourself. How this will be indicated? This will be indicated by seventh Lord making a Dhani Yoga and being situated in the Hora of Moon. In this particular scenario, if there is a problem related to marriage that comes, if your seventh Lord is in Moon Hora in that particular scenario, Pitru Tarpan, Okay, worshipping the ancestors that is done while doing Pitru Tarpan, Gaya Shrad, etc. Or by worshipping the Kula Devata and Grama Devata, remedy will be done. Whereas if the seventh Lord is going into Sanhora and there is a problem in marriage, then in that particular scenario, worshipping God. For good marriage, you can worship Goddess Katyaini, Goddess Durga, you can worship Lord Shiva, that will work. So I have told you about the users of Hora. Like Hora, all the 16 divisions have their own users. The position of planet is taken. The 16 divisions are made. The prediction, the yogas, what will happen is final is seen through the D1 chart. And these different divisions give a depth to the analysis of the planet. How the result will happen? What will lead to the result? If something wrong happens, what to do? These divisions tell us. But sadly, nowadays, with the coming of very intelligent people in astrology, the division have become a divisional chart. And for whatever purpose, the divisional chart is being used that is far, far away from what our sages told. So division is lost, divisional chart have came into play, but division is the original thing that the sages wanted to propagate. 
all these 16 divisions of traditional astrology that is propounded by our sages which should be used i am going to teach in my forthcoming course by the name of varga vivek for example in this particular video i have shared with you one technique of the uses of hora five six more five six such techniques are there with respect to hora and five six such techniques are there for the uses of all the other 14 divisions then I will be teaching all the 16 divisional charts and all the uses, at least four or five uses per division in this forthcoming course. So if you are serious about learning astrology, serious about learning divisions, practicing astrology the correct way our sages wanted it to practice, right? Learn astrology in the truest sense and follow the path that our sages propounded for us. Then you should consider joining this course. Current astrological knowledge, current astrology is anything but what our sages have told us to do. I believe that a life of 100 years, 125 years is not enough to do things such as astrology. If someone tells that I have done this research and I have come to this conclusion, you are having a life of 100 years only, what conclusion you will reach? In this 100 year, people that you have given prediction to have not even died completing their life, what astrology you are doing. So according to me, if you follow the tradition of astrology, which is there since last 5,000, 6,000 years, only then your predictions can come true. To do that, you have to follow the way of our sages because this is only Vaidhika astrology propounded by our sages, which is being practiced in world for more than 5,000, 6,000 years now. It is the only method that works. Any other method that is there is only, uh, is only a study that does not work. Not only the original method of sages is something that works for because of this particular reason, it has been there since more than 5,000 years. And this original technique of the rishis is my pledge to teach. And I will fulfill this pledge by teaching this course, which you should join.